Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to do a review of Mango Languages Spanish Specialty Course for Romance. All right, and the vocabulary is based on the vocabulary that they use in Latin America versus in Spain. Overall, I'll say that I did like the course. Um, I did enjoy taking the course. Um, although I will say that one thing that I did notice that um, was a little strange was that the vocabulary didn't seem to really have to do, it didn't seem totally based in romance, like the vocabulary that you would use in romance. It seemed more so based in vocabulary that you would use perhaps maybe more so with friends. Of course, you know, romance could involve meeting people and stuff like that. But I don't know, it just, it seemed like actually, if you've ever done the course for, the specialty course for um, text talk, that course seems more rooted in romance vocabulary than this course does, uh, the Spanish. Um, the romance course that they have, oddly enough. Um, but I'll say that I did enjoy it. Um, they went over reflexive verbs, I noticed. Um, of course, I already know about that. But they went over that, you know, again, asking people their names, um, introducing yourself and giving people your name. Um, and they dealt a little bit with the past tense as well. Um, <clears throat> And they also gave some pretty, they gave some um, grammar notes as well. Um, you know, talking about the verb uh, conocer, which of course means, you know, to know a person, but also to meet a person. I thought that was a pretty good grammar note to put in. <clears throat> also, um, giving you the option, telling you about, oh, you can say like, es un gusto conocerte like oh it's a pleasure to meet you or you can also say es un placer conocerte you know they kind of give you that option too well they introduce you to both of those phrases although they use the um, one with gustar more um, but they tell because that's something that i thought about when i was doing it but i'm like okay i'm glad you guys mentioned that because like okay okay you can do both ways all right Um, I'll say a very important grammar note that I learned from this lesson, which I don't even think I knew from this lesson, you know, before I did this lesson, or this chapter, or specialty course, rather, um, was the following. I'll say it. Um, Mango languages um, pretty much explained it. Like, when you want to say something about an event on a particular day in Spanish, it's very common to use day, you know, the word day, D-E, as in la fiesta de este viernes, the party this Friday, and la, cie, la cena de próximo lunes, the dinner party next Monday. I didn't know about the day. <laughs> Oddly enough, I, didn't, I never knew about the day before doing this. La fiesta de este viernes, uh, la cena del próximo lunes. I didn't know about that. So thank you very much, Mango Languages, for enlightening me on that. Another cool grammar note that I didn't know, you know. Um, of course, we probably know that if you use the verb acabar de, or the verb phrase acabar de, it means like to have just done something like oh acabo de comer right i just ate right but mango languages also said that you can use apenas and recién recién i think that's how you say it, to express that same idea right you can use those words to express the same idea too and i didn't know that before doing the lesson so oh 
So while I'll say that the vocabulary was not as romance centered as I would like, I'll say that I did learn some, you know, interesting grammar notes and things that I can really take with me. So I'll give, you know, give them some a checkpoint for that, definitely. Yeah, I think you pronounce it recién with an emphasis on the E-N. Apenas and recién. See, Mango language is helping me learn some more. Uh, they also, I'll say another good thing about this lesson is they also introduced you to the imperfect subjunctive tense, which, you know, within my path of Spanish, I haven't really dealt with that that much. Maybe a little bit in high school and a little bit in college, a little bit. But I thought that was pretty cool too. Um, I think they could have went a little deeper with it, but the subjunctive tense I can understand is a difficult tense to teach. Um, and especially the way that Mango Languages does it, Mango Languages tries to do it more so in the immersion style. Uh, versus, you know, grammar drills, you know, which I do enjoy and do appreciate about Mango languages. But yeah, uh, this specialty course for romance, it's about eight lessons in total. Um, it took me about an hour and 55 minutes to do all eight lessons. Mm. And I'll say that I think that this specialty course could probably just be used for for romance, I think, but also just like meeting people, I'll say. So I think maybe perhaps this uh, course could possibly, should possibly be renamed to like, you know, meetings and romance or something like that. Like, um... You know, something like that, like uh, meeting new people and romance or something along those lines. Because I think that would work better as a title and that would encompass more so what the course deals with. Because some people may not want to do the course because they're like, well, I don't really want to talk about romance. I want to, you know, learn other things, you know, but that they may feel that's more practical, right? But the meeting people part of it is very practical, right? <clears throat> you know, but me, like, I've just lately been just trying to do, like, Mango Languages specialty courses for Spanish and just exploring them and seeing what they have to offer. Of course, you probably may have seen my other reviews of uh, Mango Languages Spanish specialty courses. And, you know, if not, Hey, give them a, give them a try, give them a look. As well, give Mango Languages a try and give it a look and see. Okay, let's see what Mango Languages has to offer, because I think they really have a lot to offer in terms of like, um, you know, vocabulary and conversation, and also some grammar notes. To be fair, you know, their stealth grammar notes. You know, I really appreciate those. You know. Uh, overall, I'll rate this course, if I'm being tough on this course, I'll say a 3 out of 5. If I'm being a little lenient, i say a 3.5 out of 5. Maybe a 4. I'm not saying, like, I'll say overall like a 3.5, you know. I think that, yeah. I, was able, I definitely was able to get some things out of the course. Um, perhaps the course could be a little bit more either renamed or just more based in romance maybe but oddly enough um i think you should just rename it you know at this point maybe just rename it you know redo the name a little bit so that people know what this course has to offer because some people may be dismissed the course because they just think that it's about romance and they feel like well i'm not dating a you know a spanish-speaking person so i don't really know need to know about this <laughs> um but yeah, that's all I have to say. So overall, I really enjoyed it, and you should give it a try. Thanks a lot for watching.
Feel free to comment. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.